Good morning and welcome to the seven remaining apprentices to task two of the Insurance Apprentice 2016. I would like to introduce my fellow judge, Woyo Lee. Woyo, anything that you have to say? I think it was a good start to the season. Uh, the both teams did well in their tasks. I just want to remind you to take the lessons of yesterday and bring them into today's task. Get to know your customer better, answer your questions appropriately, and most importantly, manage your time. On my right hand side, is Riet Fern of Marsh, who will be presenting the contestants with the second task. Good morning, apprentices. Good morning. The task that you're going to perform today um, is a renewal meeting with a client. You have slight challenges here. You've just been appointed as the broker to this client, so it is a new client to you, but you've just had a phone call from the factory manager at their biggest plant to say the factory's on fire. So the objective of your task today is what advice are you going to give the client on both of those aspects of the fire and also the renewal of the policies that are expiring tonight. Good luck with your task and make it difficult for us to vote someone off today. There will be 30 minutes available to you uh, for the task in total. The first five minutes you should spend on actually providing an executive summary of what you are going to present to the client. Uh, and it should take no longer than five minutes, which means that 25 minutes will remain for the client meeting. For today's task, the teams will be in the first team, Andre, yes. Selena, Priya, and Karabo. And in the second team, we've got Alicia, Chris, and Umati. That is all that, uh, that uh, we need to discuss uh, uh, as of now. Uh, and you are excused. I'm Riette Fern from Marsh. I'm here for the Insurance Apprentice 2016, Task 2. Um, and I want to introduce Adrian Lemmer, who is going to be assisting us today with this task. Um, Adrian, what's your thoughts so far of the two teams? The team dynamics, I don't think they have settled as yet. I think people are still jostling for position. Um, in particular, uh, in the team where Unyati is, um, he, he is a very strong personality. Chris is very dominant in that team. Although Chris, I don't think he's t technically sound, but he does a lot of talking. And um, the uh, stuff that he said this morning, a lot of it is incorrect. I thought that, uh, that Alicia was coming out quite strong in that team. From the, the point of view, is that she's almost balancing between Unati and Chris. Um, and, and almost um, keeping them apart, I can almost say. Adrian, what about uh, your insurance brokers, the team with Andre and Karabu and Selina and Priya? I think um, there's a clear front runner for me in that team, and that's Andre. Having said that, I don't think he's the leader because there's a strange dynamic in that team in that the team uh, are incapable of taking decisions. And that's mainly due, in my view, to Karabo, who refuses to budge. When he t once he takes in a view, he doesn't budge, uh, which is not good for a team scenario. Do you think that um, Selena or uh, Priya might be able to pull the team together? Um, definitely not Priya. She, she's almost like somebody's echo. When somebody says something, she repeats it, but just using other words. Selena... <laughs> She's very forceful, she, she talks a lot, she talks with authority, but again, she, she merely points out her point of view and she defends her point of view and she doesn't listen. She's a very bad listener. So, Adrian, given that somebody has to be eliminated today, um, what would your view be? Who would be the person that you think does not deserve to remain on the insurance apprentice. My firm view at this stage is Karabu. There's no doubt in my mind. 
Uh, what I did observe is that, you know, Garabo is quite opinionated and, and quite assertive in terms of his viewpoints. His input is mainly on that claim and how that claim is going to be treated. Whereas on the other side, you have somebody like Selena who's really focused on the client, and I think that's going to work in her favor. There is a bit of a dark horse there in, in Andre. I think, you know, Andre is very quiet and unassuming, so you don't really expect, you know, him to come through as, as quite strong. But, you know, based on yesterday's input, as well as the way he's, you know, facilitating the team and getting all the viewpoints across uh, and finding the middle road for everybody that they're comfortable with, from a leadership perspective, I think he will, he will come out strongly and he will continue to shine today. We've got Unati who is, you know, he's, he, he knows his, 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 his industry uh, and he, he really tries to get his point strongly across. I think he needs to caution against that in, in terms of listening to what other people are actually saying. Alicia, I still need to figure out a bit more, but she really does hold herself quite nicely in the team. She's played quite a good facilitation process role trying to understand why people are saying what they're saying and also drawing from her, from her own experience. And then with Chris, I think there's a bit of inconsistency over the last two days. One day he comes across quite confident, uh, the next day he's a bit withdrawn. But he has given some very good input uh, in terms of the, the task. And what I do think would also work in his favor is I do think, although he, is, he, he can be quite confident, he also is quite collabor collaborative. If Team CAU Broker loses, uh, my recommendation would probably be that Chris be the one that is eliminated. In terms of the, your insurance brokers, um, who I would recommend just based on, on today's um, contribution, I would say that Priya be the one that is eliminated. Welcome team. Presentation time. Uh, the first matter is a uh, matter of a name. Have you chosen a name for yourself? CAU Brokers. CAU Brokers. Secondly, I would like to welcome your client, Adrian, who is sitting across the, uh, the table from you. You'll be addressing your presentation to him. But before we do that, you'll first provide us with an executive summary of what you're going to cover. I will touch on the fire aspect and um, other pressing matters there. Bonati will basically respond to how the policy is affected thereafter and Chris will discuss how it will affect the renewals. Okay, those are the matters, yes. the important matters. Yes. Okay, is that your, your summary? That's in, in part, yeah. Okay, so you are basically free to do your presentation to the client. Thank you Mr. Adrian for meeting with us today. Why, why is it that we are having the, this meeting, the pre-renewal meeting, let's forget about the claim, um, on the eve of my policy um, lapsing. Um, when we had a pre-renewal meeting, uh, there was a bit of um, outstanding information um, that we needed in order to finalize terms of the insurance. Is this the norm? You leave everything till the last moment? We, we do have a renewal process within the brokerage. We normally start the renewal process three months prior to renewal. As we've just uh, recently been appointed as the broker, um, this is I the reason... I don't want your Dale Kani course, please. Okay. Mr. Just, Adrian, just, let's just deal with the issue. Absolutely agreed, sir. I right. understand that there's a fire claim, there's a renewal process. Can we split and the time? And I'm very agitated that there's I gather, I can see. gauge. I hear you completely, sir. There's a fire claim <coughs> that took place last night. There has been injuries sustained from the staff. Bearing that, that in know, mind. Including my PA. Absolutely. Medical cost has been rigoring out in your mind right now. What would you do? What we as your brokers can do, sir, is pertaining to that medical cost, we will assist by submitting a claim to COID. We will handle the processes thereof. At this stage, I understand it will be for your cost. Another option is the, your secretary and the employees can see a government hospital. Okay? At Why? Why on earth? Must we go to a, a provincial hospital, lie on a cardboard box in a passage? My, my, my employees are at the hospital and they phoned and the hospital wants 450,000 rand deposit before they admit them. This Why don't I have cover for this? If we could, um, could just reset a bit, Adrian. We, remember we've only taken over, your you've only appointed us three days. Oh, so you know I'm going to blame the previous no, broker? Not at all, not at all. So we, what we're trying to do now, we're trying to present to you what we've actually put together and try to try and, and assist you with this um, in this difficult time. I don't can, you, can you give me the short answer? Uh, have I got cover for this? 
and how soon am I going to get the money? This is actually one of the deficiencies which we've picked up when we actually when we got appointed by as we insurance. But you also didn't think of suggesting to me that I get GPA cover, is that right? That is 100% correct, yeah. however, Mr. So don't, don't go that route of blaming them. We're not, we're not Can blaming. I tell you, I fired them for incompetence. To fire again is going to be easy. And I do not tolerate fools lightly. Mr. Lema, uh, with all due respect, sir, please uh, um, ask you to allow us to present to you what we have prepared uh, in response to the incident that has actually occurred in your plant. Okay, but now can I, can I respectfully ask you then to just re answer my question? Yes. And that is, do I have cover under any insurance policy that will cover the medical expenses and the disability that my employees have suffered? Unfortunately, I don't know. you do not have. On that note, knowing that it's a traumatic experience, we as your brokers are willing to contribute, and this is not the norm, 10,000 Rand for traumatic um, trauma counselling. What policy covers that? We as your brokers are offering the assist service to you. So you are extremely you. generous and I thank you for that. Just in response, Mr. Alema, um, to what you covered for with regards to this fire, um, you covered for property damage, which is the oh, fire... Oh, we we're not going to talk about that anymore. Look, we can expand on the injuries. Okay, can, that's fine. If it's not a problem, with should spark. Okay, great, thank it's you. It's not important. It's only important to me. The loss of justice is already on the scene for him to verify. Are you suggesting that I committed arson? Not at all. Not at all, Mr. Lima. Like I said, it's a normal process for insurance just to double check that everything is in order. Uh, are you getting words. irritated that you tapping your fingers on the, on the desk? Am I irritating? Not at all, not at all. Uh, We've noticed that you had to have to cancel one of the orders to one of your customers. Do I have cover for that? You've got cover should you be unable to get your obligations to your customer. If, if you now get somebody else to take over that job, they will be inclined to load the price and say they double the price. Do I have cover for that? How much will my policy pay? A million or two million? Can you get me two million? Look, if the fire didn't happen, this is what we're going to be supporting to insurers. You wouldn't have been incurring any of these additional costs. Therefore, if this additional cost that you're about to incur is in relation to this fire. I can now tell my auditors and everybody I'm going to get two million rand from insurers that, 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 to, to fulfill my contract. And if I don't, let me promise you I'm going to sue you. Have you got PI cover? We do have PI cover. Mr. Have you got adequate PI cover? Uh, it is adequate, Mr. Lemon. Chris, mm -hmm. well, well, please talk to me as well. So we've got something very important to do, right? Um, tomorrow. This policy is going to. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, twelve o'clock. Um, Boom. Your policy, policy your, your policy has to renew. We haven't received any renewal instructions, but there's obviously been a spell in the works with this claim. What I've managed to secure, secure for you is a four-month extension. You, your policy, you'll have insurance for four months. We'll sort out. The, we'll find out the, the final details of the claim. Once we have all that information, we can then look at um, a renewal date four months from now. Do we have a mandate in terms of getting a renewal for four months with regards to your assets? You do. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.